to take a minute also and show everybody um, how do you uh, get this to format differently. So when you press Command Option L in WebStorm and it formats in a certain way, can I change the way that that formats? And you can. And the way you do that is you go up to uh, Preferences. So on the Mac, you go to WebStorm Preferences right here. And, uh, and then I could go to Code Style. And I could choose HTML, and I could start to tell WebStorm, this is how I want my code to be formatted. So it's giving me an example of what it will you know, take a web page and how it will format it and make it look. So it's giving me that example. And I kind of say just stick with it for a little bit and see how it works. But you can come in here and you can say, hey, I want to insert a new line before. And so all of these have a new line inserted before them. And so if we go back and look at, and look at our code, right, uh, we had a new line put in before a paragraph. And so if we don't want that new line in front of the paragraph, I could go into the preferences and go to HTML and go here and then go into insert a new line before. And I could remove that paragraph and hit OK and apply and OK. And then if I reformat this, Let's see if it actually takes it out. It doesn't. But if I have it like right there and I reformat it, it doesn't add it in. And if I go back to preferences and, and I, well, that's kind of interesting. It just did a little shift, command shift L. And it, so those are all indented against the wall for whatever reason. But if I go back to preferences and then uh, add that back in, we'll just continue with this one example. I'm going to add in P for paragraph and then apply that and OK. And now I'm going to reformat my code, Command-Shift-L, and it didn't work either. <laughs> Command-Shift-L, this file, all files in the directory. So I thought that that would definitely put it back in, but maybe I need a restart or something like that. But anyhow, you can play around in preferences and, uh, and see if you, that's, that's where you could start to determine how it gets, it gets formatted. I wonder if there's some way to get it off the wall. Let's see that. There's got to be an indentation tab. So remove new line before. Do not indent children of inline elements. Do not indent children of those. Do not indent children of body. I do want children of body indented. So I'm going to get rid of body and see what that does. And now there's, there's a space there. So somehow when I went back in, so you can play with it and see if you get it to go the way you want it to go.